And we are back. Welcome back to the Champions League prediction series after another topsy-turvy weekend in the Premier League title race where Manchester United were once again robbed by a shocking refereeing decision. In all seriousness, if you want to check out my reaction to Manchester United-Liverpool, please do. Link will be available in the top of your screen right now. Attentions now once again must return to Europe. And firstly, the Champions League. We will, of course, have Europa League and Europa Conference League predictions coming for you on Wednesday morning. But today's focus is, of course, going to be on the four Champions League quarterfinals taking place tomorrow and Wednesday night. As you can see on your screen right now, we are down to the final eight as all of the other teams on your screen have now been eliminated. But before we get into it, if you haven't done so already, please do consider dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy my prediction series and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. As we've just said, Europa League and Europa Conference coming for you on Wednesday morning. And without any further ado, let's get straight in to the games taking place tomorrow night in the Champions League. And thankfully, we are starting off with Arsenal and Bayern Munich because I've had a lot of talk with a lot of my Arsenal friends about this game. And honestly, my opinion on this game is this. If Arsenal don't beat Bayern Munich, it's an embarrassment. Honestly, it's an embarrassment. Bayern Munich have been so, so bad this year in every competition. They were knocked out of the German Cup. I think they're now 13 points behind Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga title race. They lost to a promoted side at the weekend. And even in the Champions League, they've been poor. They should have been knocked out by Lazio. They were relatively poor in the group. When Manchester United were at their absolute worst at the start of this season, they nearly blew it against them. Like, Bayern Munich have been absolutely awful this season. Arsenal have been phenomenal. They are rightfully top of the Premier League right now with the best attacking record in the Premier League and the best defensive record in the Premier League. If they don't beat Bayern Munich in the next couple of weeks, it's an embarrassment, genuinely. So, Arsenal fans, let me know what you think about that because I know some of them are absolutely terrified about this because of all of the 5-1 losses and all this, that and the other. This is not the same Bayern Munich. And more importantly, this is not the same Arsenal. 3-0 Arsenal. It should be an absolute battering. It really, really should. The other game taking place tomorrow night, which is rather disappointing as an English football fan who would like to have watched both of these games separately rather than at the same time, we have Real Madrid taking on Man City. The game that I'll most likely be watching because Arsenal should be thrashing Bayern Munich. Therefore, it shouldn't be much of a contest. I think this one is going to be a lot more of a contest. Obviously, Real Madrid now top of La Liga, playing some fantastic stuff. Manchester City, in the last couple of weeks, after a little bit of a blip, look like they've got back to their best once again. It's that time of the season where Manchester City do just kick on. They beat Real Madrid last year. They're playing some fantastic football. I, oh, it's tough. It's really tough. To be honest, all three remaining fixtures are really tough, in my opinion. I just think... Manchester City are going to win. I just, I really do. I just think, especially over two legs as well, this is a game where it could be a draw, but I'd expect Manchester City to win the home leg relatively comfortably. But you know what? I just, I back Man City in Europe. I really do. I just think they're too strong. I'm going to go for 2 1 to Manchester City. But obviously, as a Man United fan, I'd much rather Real Madrid win this one. But I just think City are going to win it. I just think they're too good. I really do. As good as Real Madrid are, Man City are still the best team in the world right now. And I think they're going to get the early advantage in this leg and then finish them off in a couple of weeks' time. That then brings us on to Wednesday. And like I said, both of these fixtures, really, really, really tough to call. Atletico Madrid against Borussia Dortmund first. In my opinion, this is the toughest one to call of the lot. Atletico Madrid have been very, very inconsistent in the last few weeks. They've been playing well. They've been getting good results here and there. But in big fixtures, they've been struggling. On the other hand, Borussia Dortmund have been playing relatively consistently and have been playing particularly well in the big fixtures, which we've seen all season with them progressing as group winners from the group of death of PSG, AC Milan and Newcastle. So... Oh, I just don't know. My, my head says that this is going to be a draw, which is why I'm going to go for 2-2. It's going to be open. Both sides score a lot of goals. Both sides have lost key forwards. Both of them have lost their Dutch forwards, actually. Memphis has got injured for Atletico. Marlon's got injured for Dortmund. So, ironically, they've both lost their Dutch forwards. However, on the flip side, they've got their other players back. Griezmann, most notably, for Atletico Madrid. We know they're going to play that 
5-3-2 system and it's going to be hard for Borussia Dortmund. But at the same time, they've been more open this season, Atletico. Like, I say it's a 5-3-2, it's more of a 3-5-2 and they do leave space. And with the likes of Adeyemi on those wing areas for Borussia Dortmund, they should be able to hurt Atletico. Really, really tough. I just think this is going to be open across both legs. And as it stands right now, I really couldn't tell you who's going to get through from this one. So I'm just going to go for a 2-2 draw. I'd say on paper, Atletico Madrid player for player are the stronger side. But like I say, in big games, Atletico have fought with this season. In big games, Dortmund have stepped up. So 2-2 on the night. We'll see what happens in a couple of weeks' time. And then finally, it is Paris Saint-Germain taking on Barcelona. Now, Paris Saint-Germain have not lost a game in any competitions since the start of November, and that was when they lost to AC Milan in the group stages of the Champions League. Barcelona haven't lost a single game since the end of January, and more critically, they've only conceded one goal since mid-February. We're now start of April. So the return of Stegen from injury has been massive for Barcelona. And defensively, they have been incredible in the last few weeks. Despite losing De Jong, Gavi and Pedri. They've lost their entire midfield and are still performing very, very well. But like I say, PSG also haven't lost in a long, long time either. So... There are so many factors going into this. Hakimi suspended. We've already spoken about Barcelona's midfield injuries. PSG have defensive injuries. No Nuno Mendes. No Kim Pembe. They're struggling for centre backs as well. It's an absolute mess, both teams. And then there is obviously, as always, the Kylian Mbappe factor. And for me, that's the slight difference. Obviously, we know Barcelona have world class players. All this talk about Yamel being the next coming of Lionel Messi. I'll hold my reservations on that because Ansu Fati was the next coming of Lionel Messi a few years ago and now he can't even get in the Brighton team. But from what I've seen of Yamel, he looks like a very talented player. I can't wait to see him in this fixture. But like I say, PSG do have Mbappe, who is still, despite all the drama about him potentially leaving, is still playing very, very well for PSG this season. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to PSG on the night which will obviously end Barcelona's winning streak and will, of course, have them conceding goals. But I just think it's going to be Mbappe that does the damage from that left-hand channel. And I just... We'll see. Obviously, he'll be coming up against Koundé, who should know him from playing with France. But that's just the way I see it. I think PSG are going to slightly have the edge on Barcelona in this one. But like I say, some massive, massive fixtures, as you'd expect from the Champions League quarterfinals. It's when the best teams come to the top. And... It's going to be a very interesting couple of nights. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And like I say, Wednesday morning, we do Europa League and Europa Conference League. I'll see you there.